Let us verify Rolle's theorem for fx equal to sin x by e to the power x in the interval 0, 5. We know that sin x is continuous and e to the power x is also continuous. And if you divide a continuous function by another continuous function, you still get a continuous function provided denominator is not equal to 0. Now e to the power x is not equal to 0. So first point equal to sin x by e to the power x is continuous 0 comma pi. At this interval fx is continuous. Second point if we want to verify Neal's theorem we need to make sure that it is differentiable as well. Is differentiable. You know sine function is differentiable e to the power x is also differentiable and if two functions are differentiable then after dividing one function by another it will still be differentiable provided denominator is not equal to 0. So, it is differentiable. It is differentiable throughout r but we do not need it we just need it on the open interval 0 comma pi that much is enough for Rolle's theorem. Third point the value of function at the end point must be equal. In this interval end points are 0 and pi. So, what is f 0? Sin 0 by e to the power 0 that is 0. What about f pi? Sin pi divided by e to the power pi sin pi is sin 0 that is again 0. Therefore, of 0 equal to f of pi value of the function at the end point are equal. So, we have a function f x equal to sin x by e to the power x it is continuous in the closed interval 0 comma pi differentiable in the open interval 0 comma pi and the value of the function at the end point are equal. Therefore, by Rolle's theorem, now if these conditions are satisfied, then Rolle's theorem guarantees us by Rolle's theorem there exists a constant C such that. Rolle's theorem guarantees us existence of a constant c such that f days of c equal to 0 and that c has to be in the interval 0 comma pi. That c has to lie in the interval 0 comma pi. That is f days c has to be equal to 0 and c has to be greater than 0 less than pi. If Rolle's theorem were true, such a constant should exist. Now, verification of Rolle's theorem, we just need to find such a constant C. But, f this x equal to d dx of sin x divided by e to the power x. We apply the quotient rule. Denominator into derivative of numerator. Derivative of sin is cos minus numerator into derivative of denominator. Denominator co derivative is e to the power x divided by e to the power x whole thing square. We want f this c equal to 0. We need such a constant c so that f this c equal to 0. So, we have computed f this x equal to so, f this c must be 
just we will write x equal to c here that is e to the power c into cos of c minus sin of c into e to the power c by e to the power c whole thing square equal to 0. If denominator were 0, nothing can be done, but that is not 0. e to the power x is never 0. From the numerator, we can take e to the power c common. You are left out with cos of c minus sine of c equal to 0. We can multiply the denominator to the right hand side. that is, but again e to the power c cannot be 0. So, cos of c minus sin of c equal to 0, that means sin of c equal to cos of c. In other words, tan of c equal to 1 or c equal to pi by 4. Remember, Rose theorem guarantees us such a constant c, such that c is greater than 0, less than pi. Is pi by 4 greater than 0? Yes. Is pi by 4 less than pi? Yes. Pi by 4 is greater than 0 and less than pi. So, we have actually computed such a constant for such a function. For a given function, we have found a constant c such that f dash c equal to 0 and that c lie in the interval 0 comma pi. So, we have verified Rolle's theorem for this function on this interval.